Hey everyone, my name is Megan Hennen. I am a painter and also a dancer. So what that means is that my paintings look as if they're infused with movement. My paint always looks like there's some sort of dance going on in my paintings. Um, this is something that I've been doing for the last 10 years and the work that I'm still doing today is relevant to that kind of style of work. Um, right now, um, I am working on art that really speaks to my soul. I am working on my identity as an artist and um, as a Jewish woman. <laughs> um, last December, I was in a show, I had a solo show at the JCC called Colors of My Soul. Colors of My Soul was about the colors that I am inspired by and what I am dealing with in my life at this time. So to continue down that trajectory, I am starting to make challah. Challah is a Jewish bread that is used on Shabbat and is usually something that is made from your soul, something that you are giving to um, your family and your friends. So with that being said, I'm gonna take you on a walking tour of my apartment so you can see my works that incorporate dance and color and visual um, shapes that are in, that are intriguing to me still. So come on along. A month about. So I've been making challah for a month um, during this quarantine. And what really inspires me about challah is the shape, the fluffiness, and also the stains that come off of the parchment paper. So I'm gonna show you what it looks These like. These are some new um, acrylic paintings on paper. They're inspired by challah. So this is the top part of the challah. Then I was making some rolls with them, some circular ones. And then this was inspired by the um, stain off of the parchment this paper. It's an older piece of mine. It is a dance drawing. This was performed in around, around 2010. Um, in New York City in a gallery in the Lower East Side called Art Jail. This is actually um, a cropped piece because as you can see, it looks like there are two conjoining circles, which they were, and I cropped them out and I loved keeping the, um, the middle point because as a dancer, when you, as a figure skater, I mean, when you're making compulsory figures, you are starting in the middle to make your circles. So I used my body to make this piece. Um, so it is with graphite, no, I'm sorry, charcoal on canvas. It is approximately um, three feet by five feet. And if you're wondering if the charcoal comes off, it does not because I sprayed an adhesive on it. So it, it says in 2019, I used smaller pieces of paper to make a um, to make a larger piece. Circles are also something that resonate with me because circles are about fertility. Thir circles are about showing the continuing of life. It shows peace to me. So you can see the movement of paint um, inside of it and inside the circles. And that is mixed media on paper. And then this piece up here, this is a new piece as well. Um, I am inspired by Hebrew language and Hebrew letters along with shapes that are rectangular that are the size of credit cards. Those are images to me that have been really sticking with me for many, many years. Um, the credit card pieces are um, small bits of conversations that I used to write up when I was living in New York, conversations that I had with friends or on the subway. Then we're gonna come to two of my ultimate favorite pieces that are about the body. These are torsos of my body from 2005. So um, you can see part of the rib cage and the torso and breast area mixed in with layers of acrylic house paint. I also love using acrylic house paint because I can water down the paint to a very luminescent, transparent um, use. And then another piece that's over on this wall is also um, from the same collection um, about my torso and color and 
velocity of the body. Um, then over here, these are wood block prints and they are also oval shapes and um, I love using wood in my work because it symbolizes tradition in dance, um, when dancing and just um, something of a material that speaks to me. Of my process for Hala. First, you have to make the dough. This is kind of like in the middle of mixing because <laughs> um, I don't have a machine. And then this is um, after it's done proofing for two hours and this is what I get. And then in here, I have one that's um, been egg washed and then proofing a little bit more to, um, to rise. And I'll show you what the final product looks like. I just wanted to show you the results of my challah making. And there you have it. So that's about me and my artwork. If you have any questions about my work and the availability of it, please feel free and contact Hillary at Hedge Gallery. I do have a studio space at the Episcopal Church on Warrensville and Chagrin. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope my work has um, inspired you or want to know more about me and my process. Thank you so much and I wish everyone a very safe healthy time during this quarantine and shelter in place. Be well and may peace be with you. Bye.